This evening we're seeing a light rain followed by a heavier rain later. You're tonight. finally going to fly, big sister. Singer, remember my first day of school? You braided my hair and tucked a dandelion from our garden behind my ear. You gave me a pack of spearmint gum and said that if I shared it with everyone at recess, everyone would want to be my friend. Dirty child had ants in her hair. And she never said good morning when I would wave hello. Didn't even smile. How were those children raised? I brought gum to school every single morning of fourth grade. And you were right. I did have friends that year. It's easy when you're in the same place long enough, when you can go to school every morning, no matter the weather. That's what I thought at first. Plus, I spent a lot on the gum, but you burned it all back here. We interrupt this program with an emergency report at 8 p.m. tonight. I was only playing. Hello? Uh, hello? Hi, I'm calling on behalf of the River Park Preservation Committee. We managed to postpone the breaking of ground for the development, but we could still use your help. River Park has long been a place for our beloved town to gather as a community, so if you're interested in signing our petition... Still on this community hello? bullshit? Hello? Don't you remember? Hello? You should have let me get that. You expecting someone? No, but there's a client coming tonight. Sometimes they call ahead. The Not one of the regulars, then. No. But they'll be the last. I'm lucky. Help me with this, won't you? An autopsy revealed that the victim's insides were almost... I just really know the way to put this. They were in states of rapid degeneration. Like rot. However, as with the prior victims, those who knew the boy claim he was in full health, close on the heels of other recent deaths. I told you to help me clean up. The mayor might call again. Then I'll tell him no again. You're not worried? Why should I be? Do you think I should bring along this coat? I remember when you bought that on sale. You came home practically squealing. It was a good deal. No gum money for a month. Heard the city's cold. Probably do me good to have. Answer the door if someone knocks. That won't scare your client? River Park was a beautiful place. Do you remember it? The daisies and the clovers? Enough for a hundred crowns or bracelets. I stayed away from the water though. Never wanted to see my reflection. Not even with the churning in the current. You understand, right? You're ugly, just like me. Singer told me I wasn't but everyone at school said so. Jane, and Helen, and Anne, and Martha. Hello? I'll be right there, just looking for something. How Mrs. Stewart could stand to come here every other weekend. Talk about out of the way. I remember you. You were my fifth grade teacher. You look old. She always claimed it was charity. Took credit for helping establish this uh, business, a pet project after the fire. Made everyone feel better. Now her singing praises and bringing the other church ladies in, the whole medium thing would have never kept on. You gave me detention after I tied Jane's shoelaces and she fell down the stairs. Almost there. 
We had show and tell one day and Jane brought in her mother's necklace, passed it around. She wanted everyone to feel that the pearls were real, not plastic. I was sitting to her right, the last one who would hold it. But before I could touch the necklace, she snatched it from my hands. You were at your desk, but you didn't say anything. Hmm. But I suppose every town's got someone like her. If not selling comforting nonsense, then selling something dirtier. Mrs. Stewart would probably take credit for that too, claiming she helped keep them out of the gutter, especially after she lost so much of the blaze. Sorry for the wait. What can I do for you? Hmm. you tarnish them, she said. Though I'd washed my hands now right after lunch. You didn't tell them that pearls can't get tarnished. I just like it on the record that I'm only here as a favor to my sister-in-law. Mrs. Stewart? She's just beside herself. Her Danny. That poor sweet boy was my nephew. He was just an age where he was starting to talk to girls, but he was so shy. Called me last week on the phone to ask my advice about flowers, of all things. Hmm. What do you and Mrs. Stewart talk about anyway? He doesn't have many dead relatives. Just so you know, I charge by the hour. You didn't tell Danny about the stone marker at the park, but it's for why it shouldn't be vandalized. Anyway, she hopes you can uh, talk to Danny, find out how he is whether he misses his parents, what he wants his mother to do with his room, if she shouldn't just to stop, touch his stuff just yet, uh, particularly the toy chest and the books on the shelf by the desk. Give me a moment. All the food here tastes like her tomato basil soup. He wishes there were other children to play with, though he doesn't deserve it. It's not good enough. Fine. He wants his mom to give his truck collection to his friend from school and tell her the plastic dinosaur will remain on the second shelf of his bedroom and his mother will not under any circumstances remove it from its place of honor, nor will she break up the dinosaur family or else he will haunt her. Be quite upset. I don't suppose you could describe the dinosaur. Pegomistax, blue and gray, some of the quills chipped off from the skydiving incident. And how is he finding heaven? He says that's where he is. The food tastes like your soup, apparently. Tomato and basil. And? And what? Well, never mind all that. I don't suppose he wants to tell us who did this to him? But they were calling it a sickness. <laughs> he didn't rule out foul play. Isn't that unlikely when none of the people were connected? You tell me. What makes you think... <laughs> you tell people what they want to hear, right? That's your whole racket. So if you're already talking to Danny, you must know what happened. I don't. An investigation could take months. Singer would never get to leave. The dead only tell you what they want to tell you. But surely he wanted to tell us who killed him. I haven't said it was murder. We are being terrorized in our homes. You must have some sympathy. This has nothing to do with me. The mayor offered her loads of money, and she said no. You know, I told my sister-in-law this would be a waste of time. You don't want to talk to anyone else? As if the dead really speak to you. Right. That'll be $75. It's been 15 minutes. I still charge by the hour. Angel, make sure she pays. You're in the park petition group too, aren't you? I saw you speak at church, appealing to everyone's pathos about green spaces, 
children playing, such a pillar of the community. $75 to hear about suits. And excellent organizing skills. It's a pity you didn't dust them off earlier. <laughs> Hi. Where did you... Angel? Rand, you remember me. Now you believe in ghosts, right? I, I never said I didn't. And you don't like what Singer does. Oh, I heard you talking about having to drive out here, away from all the proper people downtown. You think your sister-in-law is full of it. That's not. Self-righteous with her talk of charity. Anyway, it's been good to catch up, hasn't it? And I still have so much to say. Let's talk outside. I can feel you here, nearby. You've always been there for me. It was so much easier when I had your stories. I, I could lose myself in listening. True, I yelled at you sometimes. I told you to leave me alone, to go away, wanting quiet. It was like, like having the radio and the television on in different rooms. I used to think you wanted your friends to join you, that you were lonely in the other place. Now I think that wouldn't have helped because there are always more people over there than there are here. Is your world open? Because it's so narrow here. It's like... I get to the city. I'd like to look for a bakery. Our neighbors before we moved here brought us an extra loaf of bread one day, yellow gold studded with currants. Nothing special, the mother claimed, just a soda bread, but my slice was heaven. I was five then, so of course I didn't ask for the recipe and, and then our neighbors got taken away and we moved moved again. When I asked the baker here if he sold anything like that, he just stared at me and said, real bread takes time. I sell quality, he said, but everything I've ever had from him tastes like dust. I'd like to ride a subway train. Don't really care where it goes, but I've never been underground and it must be. Well, I do wonder what it's like. Crowded, dark. Don't imagine it's pleasant, but it seems like maybe then I could understand you a little better. Maybe I'd be able to hear you all again. Mayor, it's quite late. I've already told you no. Uh, no, I, I understand that. I still think you should reconsider, but I'm actually calling to let you know the sheriff has been dispatched to monitor the road at the end of your driveway. He won't come on the property unless there's any trouble. You're talking like this should be comforting, but it actually isn't. You haven't heard uh, the way people are talking. People who have called my office pointing out the, uh, well, the similarities of the deaths to the uh, earlier events. Really? 
the park petition people might not believe me, but community does matter to me in this town. And community includes protecting all our people, even when they don't feel the same way. Have you seen how they eat? Sorry? How they dress, how they pray. Such a family, if you could call it that. Have you seen how they live? How do they live in such a place? Mayor, no one feels the way you do. Well, I... Good night. You should reconsider. Back now, are we? Why won't anyone let me finish packing in peace? I've got an early flight tomorrow. People are dying. What do you care? Why not help them? Why not stay, you mean? Potato. It's tomato, like tomato, tomato? Maybe that's something I'd know if I hadn't died. Oh my god, you're actually serious about me helping. I could look for the boy and ask around. Why didn't you do that when the client was here? You'd already made up your mind, but now I can. Don't bother. I mean, I already know why they're dying. I don't care. I could tell you. I don't care. I know who's next. What? Don't you want to know? What the hell was that? That wasn't me. It must be the storm. Okay. So, do you want to know? Fine. It's going to be Mary Smith. She works at the diner. The one who wouldn't serve me last week? With the brown hair? And she was spearmint and gum. How on earth could you know that? Which? Any of it. I'm telling you, it's true. We'll see, I guess. Are we expecting anyone else? I'm not. It's the sheriff. I thought he'd stay on the driveway. Well, he's getting poured on, on this step. Mm, I don't want to talk to him. Ooh, maybe he'll drown in the rain. Why doesn't he go back to his car? Can I help you? Is the dog a towel, maybe? You know, most people in the department don't like coming up this road. Say it's haunted. There's a whole department of you? It's just him, the second cop, and the station secretary. The others were making bets on how long I'd last. But I told him it was nothing, you know. The mayor told me I needed to protect you. Make sure nobody came up by, with torches or anything like last time, but it's raining, so I've just been in my car. I feel so protected, thank you. You could always just sneak around the back. Dumbass wouldn't see them coming in his precious car. But then, I got to thinking. The first person to die was someone you knew, an old classmate of yours. Isn't everyone an old classmate when there's only one school? And the second worked at the hospital. The third worked at the bank. So people who've died all have jobs in town. Wow. You've had contact with every victim. Except the most recent. You're trying to tell me about a pattern and you can't even finish the pattern? So like I was saying, I have some questions for you. I didn't kill anyone, if that's what you're on about. The autopsies practically prove they're connected. Devilish, almost. Again, nothing to do with me. Just because I'm a medium doesn't mean... Look, if it's not related to ghosts, then it's outside my interest and ability. And? There's more. You must know something about all this. I really don't. Don't the ghosts know? I have asked all of them. I've asked how they died, whether they're all sick. None of them want to answer the question. 
Stop it. I said stop it. Stop what? Sorry? Nothing. Uh, anyway, I don't know, and I don't know how to figure it out, and even if I could help the mayor when he asked, I won't. But also, I can't. That's impossible. A lot of things are impossible. You must know. I don't. You must. Watch out. You said you had some questions. How do you not know what's going on? You've been steeped in it forever. Ever since you came here, your family brought it with you the first time. It must be you. That's not true. I, I won't pretend like it was paradise. It wasn't all apple pies and picket fences. But back then, community, it meant something. Not like the River Park crap was talking about. Nothing to do with meeting places or well-heeled developers. Back then, we had real leaders, pillars of the community. People you could trust. People you could turn to. You always knew who was who and, and what was what. Well, shit. Kids could run along the riverbank at night. No worries. You could take a tray of brownies to the church bake sale without having to run the ingredients by a committee. Your teenagers would be in the school gym on Friday nights at a dance. Huh. Drugged up in the park, laying waste to public property. Fascinating. People weren't dropping dead before you came. You were all immortal. Unnaturally dead, I mean. You know what you sound like, don't you? Like a witch hunter? Like the people you're supposed to be protecting me from. <laughs> like you need it. Can't you just wave your hands, cast a spell? I told you I'm a medium. The mayor's a newcomer, like you. And you're gonna call five miles out of town a newcomer. He doesn't know what it was like before. During the era of brownie independence? With the deaths. Not knowing why. Not knowing how to stop it. Neighbors. People you'd share beer with hours before dead in their homes. Not knowing who would be next, or why we were being punished. And you think it's happening again? No. This is different. I can't explain how, but we stopped it before. We can stop it again. You don't believe that. Was it scientific? No. But you can't argue with the facts. Like how the rot has shown up on bodies dead of natural causes in the years since? It, it doesn't get reported on, but the ghost told me about those deaths. It didn't stop. It just slowed down. You can't argue with the facts. You gotta tell me what those are? I didn't believe it at the time. I mean, it was preposterous, really. It seemed so backwards. So... Unmodern. You mean you knew? What? Something for you to not believe, meaning you knew. Well, I didn't uh, know, no. But you heard the talk. You were an officer, then why didn't you do anything? People talk when they're afraid. Doesn't mean you arrest every single one of well, them. Well, according to you, you've lived in this town all your life. You breathe its air. You know its people. You belong here. As did the people who killed my sister. And it, it never crossed your mind that when they proposed murder, they just might be serious? We got them in the end, didn't we? <laughs> 25 years in jail. So what? Their mothers still bring them cake on visiting days. Their spouses still bring the children to visit. Meanwhile, my sister's gone, and I find out you could have stopped it if you'd just done your fucking job. I did do... Did you know about the fire, too? Did you hear them say they'd come burn our house to the ground and think, no, that's nothing like the people I knew. They don't mean it. I won't even check if they made any unusual purchases in the past few days, because in our hearts, we all love our neighbors. I said I wasn't for it. 
No one could, no one here could do any wrong, and when they do, they just cover it up like a goddamn acne scar and continue on with our days. But you can't deny that it solved the problem. You want to say that again? No one else died of the rot after your sister was killed. Murdered, you mean? Maybe. Ooh, he's gonna say it. It was a sacrifice. But in the end... Would you have sacrificed your own child? Would you have taken her to the riverbank and, and beaten her to death with household tools? Doused your own house in kerosene? Burned your possessions? In what scenario does any of that link back to the people dying, as you said, of unnatural, unknown, unexplainable causes? In the end, the death stopped. Justice was delivered to those involved. But clearly, it wasn't a real solution because it's happening again. So that means it didn't work at all. That's up for debate. A man in the coastal house has his house destroyed by a hurricane. He prays for protection, and for the next five years, he weathers the storms. In the sixth year, another strong hurricane demolishes his rebuilt house. Did Providence give up on his prayer, or was it chance? The final storm would have been coming for him whether he prayed or not. I know you know what's going on. Hendrix Soap, only available for two ninety nine a bar. You'll be squeaky clean in no time and smelling like a dream. Tonight we're seeing heavy rains and lows in the 40s. The rain promises to continue into the morning, but then let up by mid-afternoon, where we'll see highs in the low 60s and lows. Please pick up. Damn it. Can you repeat that? I'm seeing the coming in the body, in the river. Hello? Hello? And you're saying she lived down the road from... That's where I am now. How? We've got to come down here. I'd just like to point, point out that someone's died, and I was here with you the whole time. I'll be back. Please don't bother. Thanks for all your help. I would have stepped in if you needed it. Can you do something about that? It's the storm. No, I, I can feel something else. It's the closest I felt to them since. Hey, Angel, it feels like a message. Are they saying something? I'm telling you, it's just the storm. You said Mary Smith was next? So I did. Well, if she's not the woman in the river... Like you said, there's only two cops in town. Takes them a while to check on everyone. You don't seem very upset. Should I be? You were pushing me to help them out earlier. Tomato. Or a stay, I suppose. Why? Have you changed your mind? No, I, I've got my tickets. I'm out of here in the morning. So it doesn't matter how I sound then. You're angry. I'll be back. Hello? Sorry, what? The rod is the town. No, I heard you, but that doesn't make any sense. God, if 
forgot the way you all talk. One at a time, someone give it to me straight. I said one at a time. Did you just compare my sister to kerosene? <laughs> but accelerant, what do you mean? Angel, I spoke to them. I heard their voices for the first time since you- Died. Yeah. This is a big deal. Yep. What did they say? You're not excited. No, it's great. You're upset? Tell me what they said. Why are you upset? Now you don't have to like interpret everything for me. And I said, it's great. Yay. Weren't you going to bed? What's going on with you? Nothing. Where did you even go earlier? You have an early flight tomorrow. You're not answering my question. And you're not answering mine. What did they say to you? They were talking about a fire and... and that they missed me. That's all? Yeah, that, that's all. Where did you go? Why? Don't you trust me? I didn't say anything. As your messenger, I was happy relaying things. Yeah, but I'm supposed to be the medium, and I used to be before. When we were young, you said they were overwhelming. You said you just wanted to be left alone, <laughs> to have a moment of quiet where ghosts weren't whining in your ear every second. Yeah, and? It was making you unhappy, and people were talking. People were always talking. I don't mind the voices. You said you did. Okay, but I say a lot of things. It was making you unhappy. You already said that. So, I fixed it. So you, what? So they wouldn't bother you anymore. All the voices would go through me. That was how I arranged it. How? I just spoke and they listened, like they do for you. But I'm different. We're different. They were my friends. You had real life friends. Not after you died. But you had me. But you, you never told me. All the times I complained about missing them and and then when I was setting up a business and we talked about how it was gonna work so it looked like I could still, and, and all this time, you knew. And you didn't just know you were controlling it. You, you could have let them through at any time. But you had me. And you're still doing it. I can feel you doing something. You're... That's them. It's the storm. It's not the storm. They, they were trying to tell me something about you. It'll be easier in the morning. I'll be gone in the morning. You don't have to. I have an early flight. I'll tell you everything tomorrow. Everything? What else is there? Wait. Go to bed. Everyone who's died, the other ghosts can't find them. Why not? How would I know? No, you must know. You're sounding like the sheriff. I'm not. You are. No. Yeah. I'm not. Well, I don't know. They said the town was burning? Metaphor. Well, duh. I'd call it poison. So you know what they meant. You've packed too many sweaters. City gets cold, so I heard. You're not even bringing your crystals? Come back to the poison thing. And of course you want the scarf I gave you. Angel. You think you're isolated here. 
living at the end of this long road, but in a city where no one knows where you are, who you are, it's going to be so depressing. Listen to me. You've never held a real job in your life. Uh, I waited tables. And they fired you. One table. Aren't they supposed to be all forward thinking where you're going? Who's gonna want a reading from a medium in a place like that? Oh, goodbye. I know you don't want me to go. Did you ever think about what would happen to me? You'll be fine. I mean, I know it's not like I can just pick up the phone and call home, but I mean, if I were anyone else. But you're not anyone else. I'd have lost you for good 10 years ago. You're literally dead. But you're not anyone else. You know I can't stay in this town. I don't want you to leave. I have to. My Martha said that child had soot on her clothes. And did you see her sister? So unkempt. Dancing on graves. I don't mean to be snobbish. No, I agree. I'm just not comfortable. When we came here, this was the first house I'd ever lived in. Like, not an apartment, not a tent, not a trailer. A real, live house. With a backyard and everything. I thought it would be great for a puppy. We came in the springtime, and everything was so pretty. Singer weeded the garden, but left the dandelions for me. And I remember thinking when we walked to the grocery store, how well kept the trees on the street were. So bright and green. Betty Williams was one of our neighbors, same age as my sister. Williams' house was bigger than ours. Betty saw Singer at the churchyard one afternoon and told the whole class that she swore Singer had been digging up one of the graves, made up stories about midnight rituals, all sorts of stuff. That was halfway through the school year. Half the kids in my class wouldn't take the gum I offered and my invitation to Jane's birthday party got lost. People liked to talk, but it wasn't just the kids in my class or in Singer's class. Parents talked, teachers talked. Sheriff was right in a way. Everything in town was different before we got here. Everyone was the same. And the people who didn't like us, well, they really didn't like us. They hated us so much, it made them sick. Me getting killed made them hate Singer less, I think. Passions purged, 25 year prison time. Everyone got more sensible, real fast. Plus, Singer never went back to the churchyard. There was no point. I made sure of that. And there was a little memorial for me at River Park, a nice granite marker. People felt bad until they didn't. And suddenly it was all community this, love that. What a close knit destination we all are. Everyone forgot what they're really like inside. So I just thought I'd show them. Tell me what's going on. Another two people are dead, Mary Smith at the diner and the mother of one of the men in the jailhouse. One of the ones put away for your sister's murder. You have to know what's going on. I know you know it's all connected, please. Seriously, I should have cut that wire this afternoon. Everything's fine. Tell that to my sleep schedule. And since you're up, we could finish our conversation. Which was... Where'd you go earlier? Just down to the river. No way. I told you I knew why everyone was dying. Wait, 
then why are those bastards still alive? In their stupid jail cells with their grandmother's cake and their conjugal visits and their television privileges? You think they're the only ones to blame? Well, you could have started there. It's the whole goddamn town. Everyone was thinking the same thing. They're just the ones who took action. But you heard the sheriff. Everyone knew. Everyone knew, and no one did anything. I can't believe you can kill people. More complicated than you think. And you didn't do in the murderers who actually did it. So you're not mad? You've lied to me. I did ask if you wanted to know. You said no. Because I didn't think it was going to be you. Why did you come here? What? Why did we come here? Not a tent, not a trailer, not an apartment. That's what you said when you saw our house here. We could have had a house anywhere. You wanted it too, remember? They said there was no crime. Thus no angry ghosts. The ghost said it had beautiful streets. Peace, nice people. Good schools. Affordable houses, each with their own gardens. A place where anyone can make it. But that's what they're saying about the city too. How well is that fresh start gonna go? I'm not running. You think the problem is the town? You just said that you think the town is evil. But maybe the problem is us. No. But maybe. No. Okay, when I said problem, I didn't mean problem exactly. The problem is the people here. It's the narrowness. Where I'm going will be different. But what if it's not? It's gotta be, it will be. What I meant is that you already have roots here. You mean you. And your ghost friends. Who you've severed me from for 10 years. And you've stayed here for 10 years. I couldn't afford to leave. But you've got easy money. The fools here pay fortunes to let you tell them their loves miss them from beyond. I can't make a social life out of fools and ghosts forever. But I like the idea of community. I like things about this town. And that's why you whipped them into fear and paranoia by killing random people? We're trying to change your environment, but you're heading into a pile of unknowns. I can change the environment here and be certain about it. What, by murdering everyone who's not us? Oh my God, you're serious. Not everyone. I mean, they're practically doing it to themselves. Well, that doesn't make it. Right? You don't even care about them. You are content to leave them to their suffering. Because I didn't think I could help. Thought it was because you were going to leave. I'm still leaving. If you stay, I'll stop. And what? Face everyone who thinks I have something to do with it? That's your idea of a happily ever after. And claim to have stopped it. That you figured it out. They'll resent me. They'll owe you. They'll be afraid. That, that's not how I want to live. At least you get a choice. Don't. I'm the one being left behind. It was always going to happen. It doesn't have to. You can't stop me. You don't know what I can do. You're the accelerant, not the fire. How can you not hate them? Is this how the others died? I'm not trying to. Aren't you? Help me out. Don't. You flip the edge. I know you're there. Hi. No, it doesn't. That makes sense. No, it doesn't. Oh, well, we'll find out soon. I should call the mayor. Now you're staying? Just warning. 
about me? About the internal problem. They deserve a chance to know about it at least. Maybe then they can work on it better. They'll fail. It will be my problem. Running. Number 43. Running and he scores. Cindy misses. Mm -hmm. 